All right. Hello, hello, everyone. We are going to get started. Today we have uh, Nick Garza from Up Equity. He's going to be telling us a little bit about his company and what he can do for your clients. So, Nick, I made you host. You can go ahead and start sharing. I just did I just did that. really appreciate the in-person so thanks for for making it out it always makes these way more fun so uh just to start out real quick i will introduce myself so my name is nick garza i got my start in real estate technology about five years ago so i started at a small broker broker referral company called op city um, we later got acquired by realtor.com i've worked at companies like milestones as well and everything that I've, uh, all the experience I have up to date is really just building relationships with agents and brokers. And so over the last uh, 13 or so months, I've been at Up Equity and I lead a small team that does exactly that as well. So just to set the stage for today, what we'll do is get to know you all a little bit better as real estate professionals. From there, we'll help explain how we can overcome some common challenges that we're seeing in the market today. And then lastly, we'll talk about next steps. But just the theme of getting to know you all a little bit better as real estate professionals, what are some common challenges that we're seeing in the market today? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the biggest one. Yep, and less buyers out there, right? You know, I think that's debatable. I think there's a lot of buyers. We just need to, I just can't remember. Yeah, exactly. Okay. They don't, they're not qualified. So powerful. Okay. Yeah. Did I worry that? <laughs> yeah, so buyers can't qualify for the, the homes that are listed. Yeah. What are some other challenges that we see? Hello. The ones who can't qualify, they're getting beat out by the cash buyers. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a, a good one. And Margaret said that. Um, the clients who can't qualify are going to be out by cash buyers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah perfect. And thanks for the engagement. So just to introduce Up Equity, we are the offer mortgage company based out of Austin, Texas. And as we go through this presentation, there may be some times where you're like, hey, Nick, this sounds way too good to be true. Or what's the catch? And if that's ever the case, know that we've been featured in publications from Housing Wire to the Wall Street Journal to USA Today to CNBC. And so if at any time you're like, hey, it sounds too good to be true or what's a catch, you know that you can find any article there because these publications have written stuff about of equity. Now, something that's important to note is that everything that we do is 100% in the mindset of keeping agents in the center of the transaction. Another way to say that is that we are an agent-centric company and we focus on helping agents win more clients and win more deals. Now, there's two ways that we help you all as agents do this. And the first is with our trade-up program. So this is where we will buy your client's existing house. So that way you can sell them their next one. And I'm sorry, so that way you can sell them one again? Sorry? You said, so 
You buy the existing yep. house. Yeah. So. Yeah, so we buy your client's existing house so that way you can agents can sell them their next one. Oh, that's okay. right. And then the second one is our cash offer program. And this is where we allow for your clients to use our cash to make an all cash offer. Now, I know that was a lot of information, but just from a conceptual standpoint, how are we doing so far? And are there any early questions? And then it's also for anybody that's online, if you have any early questions, you can put it in the chat. Shane, could you get it? Shane's gonna put the chat up so we'll be able to see that. Um, if you have any questions for Nick, uh, put that in the chat as well. Don't forget the price. Perfect. So, yeah, so something um, that we talked about a little bit earlier, right, is hey, there of the houses that are available, sometimes you can't get buyers to buy them, right? Um, and there's also this thing where we have a lot of clients that we've sold houses to before and they have a lot of equity in their house, right? Uh, but what do we do with those, right? Because in most cases, those clients cannot afford two mortgages. So in these instances, um, with up equity, like I talked about earlier, we will buy your client's existing house. So that way, as an agent, you can sell them their next one. Now, a couple of benefits here are one that it allows for you all as agents to show their old house um, that is vacant, right? And so there's an NAR article that was published recently that said that vacant houses sell for one to 3% higher than occupied houses. Another benefit as agents is this allows for you all to get clients off of the sidelines. So clients who otherwise would not be transacting to date, you can take them and show, have given this option to buy before selling their existing house, right? And then the last one is that this allows for you all as agents to sell your client's old house for max value and offer your clients this door to door solution. Now, you're probably thinking, hey, Nick, like there's some other companies that do really good at marketing and we've heard about buy before you sell programs. How do you all differentiate? So just from the, from the jump, we separate ourselves from any one of our competitors by offering a 1.25% fee to use a trade program. So any one of our competitors are charging between 1.5 to 1.99% to offer a, a buy before you sell or a trade program. And from a equity's perspective, when we buy your client's old house, so that way you can help them buy their new house, it will be 1.25% of the value of the new house. Now, something that is really cool about this as well is that if you all as agents can align the sale of the old house to close at least a couple of days before the close of the new house, then that fee gets reduced to 0.25%. But I know that I've said a lot, and so I'll just pause and ask, what are some questions so far? Okay, so when they buy the new house, do they have to use your mortgage company? Yep, yeah. So they would be using us as a mortgage for the new house. Great question. And what's the difference in, uh, or why would they use you guys to buy an old house? And they still have to um, want their house sold before they buy the new house because there is an contingency yeah. that you can use to work that transaction. Yeah, so you're bringing up a lot of really, really valuable things earlier. Mm -hmm. um, the reason that this trader program works really, really well is because it removes the home sale contingency. Okay. Right. So how many of us as agents have had it to where we use a home sale contingency, mm -hmm. right? Saying, hey, we're going to buy this new house and the old house doesn't sell in time. So the whole deal falls apart, okay. right? It's happened and it happens more okay. often than not, right? <clears throat> so <clears throat> with our trader program, the way that it works, and we're going to go through it kind of step by step here in a second, mm -hmm. but the way that it works is we are removing that home sale contingency. So that way, as agents, we can have peace of mind knowing that if we get under contract with that new house, that house is closing on time, and then we still have time to sell the, the old house. Great question again. I know it, it is a lot of work to, to work with that contingency. <laughs> you yeah. can get through it, but yeah, that would make it easier. And so that 1.25% would come off of the once y'all home page. Yeah. 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 yeah, so okay. it, 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 it comes once once close. Okay. And so you bring up a good transitional point, right? And so something to note with the equity is that we will pay full market value for your client's full house, mm -hmm. right? This isn't some gimmick, this isn't some, hey, this sounds too good to be true. And it breaks down like this. 
So let's say your client's estimated old house value was a million dollars. They would get the full market value for their house. It will just be broken up into two steps. So initially they'll get the first installment, right? Which in this example here, it's a million dollar house. They will get $850,000. That $850,000 is used to pay off their existing mortgage. And then the rest, of the, the rest of those remaining net proceeds is used to be an out payment for the house. Now, once you and your client, because your client is still in the center of this transaction, as agents, you all are in the center as well. Once you all find that ultimate buyer and that house officially closes to that ultimate buyer, you will, your clients will get back the second installment or the net remaining proceeds from the gross resale of the house. And so we can see that here. Is that is all that making sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. So the, the second installment comes after the old home is sold. Correct. Yep. But your bonds uh, during the first installment, yes. I mean y'all were selling the house. And then you all as agents are selling the house. For y'all. For the client. But te technically us on title, yes. Okay. But the way that the agreement is set up, it says that your client is the owner of equity is just on title to remove that debt for your client's debt to income. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, so uh, the question on the chat is, is the agent involved in both transactions? And the answer is yes, right? So earlier we just talked about, we care about keeping you all as agents in the center of the transaction. So you all are involved on the buy side and on the sell side. You all are always 100% in the center of the transaction. I think the court, uh, there may not be a question. Maybe it's just fine. Being involved means you get paid in both the mm -hmm. side? Yeah, yeah. So as agents, y'all are getting paid, right? So when we go back to this slide really fast, right? And this middle one that says, get clients off the sidelines, right? <clears throat> we, we have so many clients that we have worked with that have equity in their house, right? But in most cases, they can't afford two mortgages. They have to buy, they have to sell their old house before buying their new house, right? And so this allows for you all as agents to offer the store to door solution where you're getting paid on the sell side and you're also getting paid on the buy side, right? As the market has shifted, Right? We know that these buyers are very well qualified because in most cases, if they purchase within the last two or four years, they have about like a 200% gain in equity in their house, right? 100% gain in equity. So this allows for you all to unlock those buyers. Let me be clear, Nick. What I'm, well, what I'm asking is, so I see three transactions happening. Mm -hmm. I see the client is selling their house to a equity. The client is buying a new house that they're going to live in. Yep. And then the client and then up equity is selling the client's house. So that's three transactions. Yep. All right. The agent gets paid on which ones? That's a great question. Yeah. All right. yeah. <laughs> we, we, have a, all three? we have a timeline for that. Timeline. Right. So let's let's talk about what uh, we just asked Mr. Davis. All right. So initially, the way that it works for your client right, is that they'll fill out an application of equity, we'll step in and we will pay for the inspection and the appraisal, right? right? From there, what we do is we make an offer with a flexible close date to purchase your client's old house. What that allows for you all as agents to do is take these clients shopping without that home sale contingency, right? which allows for them to focus on the buy of the new house without ever having to list their existing house, right? That's one of the biggest fears that people have, right? I don't want to go shopping not knowing if I can find something I'm going to live in. So then back to your question, Mr. Davis. So here, the three transactions, right? Your client finds that new house. Up equity will step in and buy your client's old house a day before the close of the purchase of the new house, right? So that's transaction number one. This is where your client will get that first installment that we showed earlier, right? The 850 in the example. The cool news here is that this is also where Up Equity will pay you all as agents an additional half percent commission just for using our creative program and Up Equity having to step in and buy your client's old house. So you all get paid to use this program, right? The second transaction is the close of me, is the close of the new house, like we were talking about earlier, right? And then between this time here, you as agents and your clients are still in charge of setting the ultimate list price. You're still in charge of accepting and rejecting offers. And ultimately you're in charge of finding that ultimate buyer, right? So once that ultimate buyer is found, then as agents, 
excuse me, then your clients get that second installment paid to them, which is those remaining net proceeds from the gross resale of the house. And then as agents, here's where you all get your standard listing commission as well. Does all that make sense? Yeah. So all standard commissions on all three. So all three of them. Get paid. So you, we, you would get paid you get 0.5%. Six. Yep, so 0.5 here, right? Here, we should probably put this as well, but here's where you get paid as a buyer's agent with your standard commission, right? Mm -hmm. And then here on the second installment, that's when the ultimate buyer for the old house is found and it closes, you get paid your standard listing commission for the old house. And the standard is Whatever. Oh, five, six, 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 seven, six. Don't say. Okay, gotcha. Okay, gotcha. No it, 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 that one's going to be whatever, whatever as listing agents you all say. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Okay, awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so, right, coming back to what we were talking about earlier, right now, it's really tough to find clients, right? This is something like we talked about a lot for you all as agents mm -hmm. to focus on the purchase of the new house without ever having to list the old house. And then once that happens, the fee is 1.25% when Pub Equity buys your client's old house, which is the most uh, consumer friendly price out there. On top of that, you all as agents will get paid an additional half percent commission just for using our trader program when we buy your client's old house. And then the biggest thing here is that you're getting three commissions, right? You're getting 0.5 when up equity buys your client's old house. You're getting your standard purchase commission when you help your client buy that new house. And you're getting your standard listing commission once the ultimate buyer buys your client's old house. What are some questions? Go back to that slide for that. Yep. Go back to the one for that. Yep. There we go. All right. So worst case scenario, the, the, the client signs up for up equity program. Yep. Up equity doesn't need to buy a house, but the client will still have to pay 0.25% of up equity. So it's like insurance. Okay. Uh, uh, if they do go through the complete program, then it's at a cost of 1.25%. Okay. Uh, yes. On the new home. Yes. So if they bought, say, sell a two hundred thousand dollar house and they buy a four hundred thousand dollar house, y'all are charging them one point two five percent on the four hundred thousand dollar house. Okay. But then the inverse that, right, is that if the client has a six hundred thousand dollar house and they're buying a four hundred thousand dollar house, right? The fees are doing that. Um, I I know I know you say that, but we are seeing it. <laughs> really? Yes. Like um, there there are clients. Um, last week I had a client. $1.4 million house in Dallas buying a $900,000 house from me, right? So there are, and that's what I'm talking about, right? Like when, when I talk about like getting clients off the sidelines, these are those clients that have owned their houses for a very long time and they're ready to get rid of them, right? Like, hey, I want to pay these increased property taxes. I want to pay all this stuff. And they're getting rid of these houses. So, yep, they're downsizing. So I, I know you're saying it doesn't happen, but we, we are saying it, I promise. But are you saying what when they're downsizing, they're still having that fee? Yes. Um, that point two five percent. If the if, if we if we sell the old house before before they like in essence, if we sell the old house, yep. that point two five percent is still based off the new house home price. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The, the reason here right, is just because um, we know that life happens, right? And sometimes deals just fall through, right? So here we're just paying an insurance policy. We're still paying for the upfront commission, uh, upfront inspection and appraisal part. Um, and then from there, right, we're still paying that back up offer. So should, for whatever reason, uh, clients, buyers financing fall through on their client's old house, we step in to make sure that the, the deal still goes through. Yeah, so if it does, if it doesn't, that's when we step in. But say the last part again. Uh, if the client's financing does not go through, on right? which house? On the old house. Like the new buyer. The, the buyer is yeah, buying like, like the third party buyer. Yeah, yeah. So the third party buyer or your client's old house, right? If you all line that up, and that doesn't go through. Yeah. That is where up at least steps in, and we buy your right. house. No, 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 I got, I got that part, but I'm just saying. 0.25%, that scenario is not the scenario. That's the 0.25% is that the buyer's financing goes through and they close on it and before the client buys the new house, 
right? This, the, the client still pays up 8.25%, but it's not 0.25% of the old house. It's still 0.25% of the new house, but even though we didn't have the use of it. Yes. What, what we're seeing now, um, transparently, as you said, houses are sitting in the market market, right? So the 0.25, um, well, yes, if we could align that, hey, we could have bid on everyone that's involved, but we're just not seeing that, right? And so it's just like, hey, like if, if by chance you're able to get that, it goes down to 0.25, but we're seeing the majority of clients have to have the 1.25 associated with the trade -off. Yeah, no, 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 my, my, my challenge is not, the payment because I see it as insurance. It's, yeah. it's insurance. It's just it being on the new price versus the old, the new home versus the old home. That's the stuff. Yeah. 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 So any other questions? Also, thanks for thanks for the conversation, Michael. Appreciate these. Oh man, yeah. That's what you're here for, man. Yeah. I mean, I like, I mean, even with my questions, I still like it as an option, yeah. right? I feel like in this market, the market is bananas. People need options. Like, right. they need this kind of creativity in the market to help people move. I wonder why more people <coughs> more options, companies for this option. Why would? Why more companies ain't providing options like this? You know, like you have a, you have a Divi, you got a Walmart, you got a Ribbon, you know. So much options. There are there are options out there like this is unique like this isn't like the others. Yeah. I like I like that. Yeah. Wait, let's go over our cash offer quicker, right? Okay. <clears throat> so our cash offer will be um, broken up into three simple steps, right? This is where initially your clients will get approved. From there, you and them can start making all cash offers, and then lastly, these deals will close on time every single time. So from the client expectations, they can expect to fill out a quick 15 minute application. And yes, it is mobile friendly, where they will upload all the necessary documents needed for a conventional loan. From there, they'll get a cash offer approval, which allows for you and your clients to now go make cash offers on properties that are seven to eight times more likely to be accepted by the listing agents. <laughs> the cool thing here is that this is not a standard pre-approval or standard pre-qualification. We're doing the, we're putting in the work to do the underwriting on the front end to then say, hey, we believe so much in our in our ability to underwrite these clients that we're putting our cash on the line. So because we do a lot for your clients to use our cash when making that offer, we do ask for a 72 hour approval process. So what I mean by that is that if your clients want to go shopping on let's say like a Saturday or a Sunday, we just ask you to go and do us by like a Tuesday or a Wednesday to just give us enough time to make sure that that underwriting can take place on the front end. <coughs> now, <coughs> now, once you all as agents and your clients have that cash offer, everything that you all do will feel pretty much the same in terms of what you're already used to doing. From the perspective of you all as agents are 100% in control of negotiations and submissions. The only two slight tweaks on the back end will be that once you're ready to submit that offer, it will actually read up equity and or assigns on the buyer line of the contract. And then when you're ready to submit that offer, it will go to offers at upequity.com. But everything else that you're used to is pretty much the same from the perspective of like, we are in Texas. So you all as agents are still using the same standard track agreement, right? There's no additional up equity, this or that or the other. But from the, your clients get approved and even them making the up of equity all cash offers, what are some questions that you all have? So what's the cost? Uh, I'm sorry, what's the cost of using the all cash option? It's a great question. We haven't touched on it, but it's oh, zero, it, it's zero dollars. Okay. There's there's no cost to the up equity all cash offer. Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna come back to that day. We'll yeah. Okay, so when we make an offer. You know, we have to see the legal funds right here. Yeah. Uh, you guys allow them. Yeah. So to the listing agent, they're going to see cash, the amount of cash, and then the days to closing cash paired with the up equity seven and a half million dollar proof of funds. Right. So earlier you said, hey, you saw of the of the clients that can qualify, there still are some reason to uh, cash offers, right? Whether that be investors or other cash offer programs, 
And so from our perspective there, we arm them with our proof of funds to make that cash offer. Great question. Walk me through this, Nate. Yeah. So I got a client, they're submitting the offer. Yeah. Now, but this client has a house that they got to sell, though. Or is this anybody? So this is anyone. Okay, so anybody yep. out there looking for houses, getting beat out because they FHA or VA or whatever. Yeah. I said, hey, Nick, we need this all cash option yep. to submit. Yep. Right? So you say, all right, cool, we're going to do that. Let's go. So up next, we is going to front the cash to buy the house, and then the, the person comes back and buys from a bank. Yeah. No, it, it gets better. Okay, talk to, talk to me. So, come on, man. So that one's going to come in two slides. I'm going right. to come back to that. All right, cool. Yeah. Hold on, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying I was paying attention. I was going to be. I was like, I see. I thought I had it. And then I had it. And look, if you're online, you have questions, but you put them in the chat. Yeah. You can get those answers as well. So I'm going to come back to that one in two slides. All right, cool. But this next slide. Right, is as agents, how many times have lenders dropped the ball with closing our clients' financing and deals be pushed? It happens, right? We get to there and we're like, hey, we're closing on a Friday. I'm about to cast a check on a Friday and it has to be delayed a week, two weeks, however long that is, right? So, from Up Equity's perspective, we believe in our products so much in our underwriting processes that whenever you all as agents submit an all cash offer, if for whatever reason a client's financing ends up falling through a couple of days before the close, we step in with our cash to make sure that from the buyer's agents, listing agents, and seller's perspectives, you all are getting paid on time. <laughs> you all are getting paid on time and moving on with your life. Yeah. And then we will figure out financing with that client, right? <clears throat> so that's huge. Um, yeah, I'll figure out the finance. We figure out financing, yeah. What, if, what happens if you can't figure it out? Um, yeah, rental. <laughs> we, we cannot figure it out. It's like less than a percent of the time. Yeah. Um, and the, the the buyer cannot move forward with the close of that house. Yeah. We will just have the original buyer's agent come and list it and then sell it. True. <laughs> of a mortgage for your client before the closing date. Oh. So once that client's mortgage is clear to close, we then assign that purchase contract over to your client so that way it closes in their name and it's just one close. Okay, so to use the cash offer, they have to use your mortgage company to close. I just want go. to know how people get paid. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I understand. There you go. And then, <laughs> yeah, no, whenever I get in any kind of relationship, I need to know how you making money and how me ain't nobody out here just doing stuff. Yeah. Money. And and this here is a massive differentiator between us and anyone else in the cash offer space. Yeah. Uh, from the perspective of we're working really hard to get a client's loan could at close on average between like 14 to 16 days. So that way we can have an 18 to 21 day close. Whereas with our competitors, in most cases, they will use their cash to buy the house on behalf of the client, then they'll rent it out to them for the next 45, 60 days, and then they have a second. Close. So our competitors increase rental costs per those 45, 60 days, two closes, up equity, one close, and your clients. Mm -hmm. And if it can't close, we buy it. Okay. Now, before you guys agree to, uh, to do the all, the, the all cash offer, I'm assuming, now you agree with me, I'm assuming the client has to be pre approved through your mortgage company. Yeah. 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 And that goes back to you. Uh, they're getting that cash offer approval, right? And so not everyone can qualify for our cash offer approval. Right? We're not we're not giving everyone our cash, right? But for those well qualified buyers that are losing out to cash, or the folks that are just like, hey, I'm tired of submitting a bunch of offers and not nothing happening, these are the clients we're dealing with. <laughs> Great question. <clears throat> what are some other questions that we have about either the up equity guarantee or how it works? You mentioned your well qualified buyers. What is the well qualified? Yeah, I'm just waiting on that. I'm, I Great. Great question. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we work with any clients so long as they have a 680 or above credit score. 
Um, we work with first time home buyers at 3% down. The second time home buyers is 5% down, and then investors is around 20%, depending on the number of units in the property. And we can work with any uh, property so long as it's one to four units on that extra investors. How how is the max? Good question. <laughs> so we work with any purchase prices between two hundred thousand dollars to three million, including jumbo loans. We don't work with mobile homes or manufactured homes. We also don't work with farms or ranches or land, nor do we work with non warrantable condos. But another way to say it is you said that the property must be habitable or it must be a friend of your family or people with property. <clears throat> Great question, Margaret. Next. What, what are some other questions that you all have about either one of these three slides? That was Chris. So you're saying, is this too good to be true? Yeah. So, uh, Chris, one, thank you for asking that question. Um, it, it, it goes back to the, uh, the third slide earlier. So um, we get asked that a lot, right? Hey, it sounds too good to be true, or what's the catch? Um, and so we've been featured in publications from Inman to Riz Media to CNBC to the New York Times. And so they've published articles about what we've been able to accomplish. So if at any point you or your clients are like, hey, what's a catch or it sounds really too good to be true, just know that they can find us on some of these major publications. <clears throat> now, back to another thing Michael you brought up earlier was what's the cost, right? There's a slide for that. Okay. So with our up equity all cash offer, it literally costs your clients zero dollars yeah, to I make a cash that. offer. I see that. Yep. And the big reason is, right, it's like mortgages have been the same way for the last 50, 60 years, right? Mm -hmm. um, our mission was to just change the way that mortgages happen. They're a lot of the times clunky, a lot of the times very cumbersome, a lot of the times uh, very emotional for the clients, right? Asking for all these documents. We take care of that on the front end so that way it has a smooth close. And because of that, we make money the same way that any other mortgage company does, yeah. which is the origination of the mortgage before the date of close, and then sell that to the second day of market. Yeah. Who are uh, to get approved? Who are the clients talking to? Because you know, traditionally, you know, I have my home officer that I've known for a while. Yeah. In many transactions, we're talking even on the phone. Yeah. And we could all get it straightened out if there's an issue. Mm -hmm. If if with your company, who are they talking to? Yeah, so they're talking to our loan officer slash account executives. And will they have one dedicated person to them? Yep. Yeah. And are they available outside of 85 hours or just 85? Yeah, so so great, great question was, hey, are we available outside of eight to five? Um, so we are available nights and weekends, right? Um, the cool thing with Laverne being the reason that I'm here is that you all will have two points of contact. So you all have my information and then you'll have one of our loan officers information as well. And so we'll send you a group text, uh, whoever is available to take that really quick, we'll send the text back to you. And then the other thing is like, whenever you're going to submit an offer, right? Just give us like a five minute heads up and we'll make sure we can get that offer signed ASAP, especially if it's after hours, like, <laughs> like nights on weekends. So I have another question, and, I, and you might have answered this already. Yeah. So when you when a person first goes in, submit all their documents. Yep. Um, and you qualify them. Yeah. Is that the most? Is that the largest cumbersome part of submitting everything? Or. Yeah. I mean, it sounds simple when you explain it. Yeah. But once they submit everything and they're qualified, then later they have to come back and keep submitting different forms, or you go back again and. Um, um, make sure. I mean, I yeah. I'm just making well, sure. I'm assuming it's still a traditional mortgage process. Right. right. Yeah. But it made when you made it sound so simple, like you just wanted to get y'all stuff from that. You get you get qualified. That's it. Well, I mean, it does seem it does seem more streamlined. It seems more simple. Yeah. Because you know, if you're with without the all cash offer right. in place. Then there's a lot more pressure on the back end with oh, the mortgage right, company right. trying to get things and make things yeah. line up. So with the all cash offer in place, meaning right. that it's going to close on time regardless, right. it alleviates a lot of the stress on all the parties. Right. That alone will allow for us to really transaction. Right, gotcha. So yeah. you definitely got to make sure you got all everything, all your I's, dotted, and t's crossed at the beginning because you're right. from there going to the cash. Yeah. 
Oh. And then something that, so when, when I when I say it and I make it sound easy, um, the easy is whenever clients are willing and open to just submit the documents, right? Yeah. yeah. They can submit all their documents. Right. Um, the If we look at kind of like there's four kind of different stages of underwriting, right? <coughs> We're doing the first three less the property underwriting. And so once they find a property, then that's that last missing piece. Now we're still going to ask for a couple of additional right, documents, right. but it's not going to be as cumbersome as the, the first part. Just a couple of them. Yeah. Um, you're not the loan originator, right? <laughs> yeah. So we would get a loan originator with those people. Yep. How many people are here in the Houston area that, like, I guess would be on the loan originator? So my friends, if I have a client. Go through the process, go through the online, fill out the application, and they get approved. Yeah. Then, who do they get connected with on the loan on the yeah. lender side? Yeah, so um, once they fill out that application, that's when they'll get connected to someone. Um, we're about 100 people in Austin. We have another office out of Kansas City. And then we're we're trying to kind of plant some deep roots in Houston to see what can happen. Yeah. Uh, transparently, we do not have a boots in the ground person. In Houston, so the first the people that are working the Houston transactions will be in Austin. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yep. And then back to what Margaret was saying earlier, I think this is something that's just like really good to repeat is like with up equity, whenever you all have clients, um, I will be the initial person that helps kind of educate the client about either the cash offer or the trade up. Uh, and then from there, once they're ready to submit that, that application, you all will be introduced to your dedicated account executive and they're your go-to product expert on all things on that thing, right? So today we went through a lot of information and we know it's a lot, but we don't expect for you all to be of equity product experts. We just expect for you all to be educated and to have this to arm you all with stuff that can help your clients. So once you get a client that would be a good fit, we can partner together to help serve that client. Um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm so, what if your client is stuck between the idea of purchasing equity? How do you help them? How does your program assist them? Or how do you just have that conversation? Well, I don't, I don't think that's an equity problem. Right. Yeah, they, they, yeah, that's a deep. That's a us as a real estate professional. Up equity is a tool. I got you. That's all. Yeah, exactly that, right? And so earlier we talked about <coughs> keeping agents in the center of the transaction, right? We know what we're good at, and it's loans. We know what y'all are good at, and that's finding and building relationships with clients right. to educate them on what their best steps are. Absolutely. Giving guidance. Yeah. That's what we're good at. That's what we're good at, people. Mm -hmm. Guiding. And then, yeah, that's pretty much, and then just to kind of go over like who qualifies again, right? So any client, so long as they have a 680 or above credit score, first time home buyers is 3% down, second time is 5%, and then investors is around 20% down. Uh, uh, I, we're seeing DTI is something that's really open to it out here lately. Mm -hmm. So do y'all have like a DTI uh, maximum? For our cash offer, our debt to income maximum is 48%. Um, we, we can still do uh, regular commercial loans, right? We, we can still do less the cash offer. We could do FHA, VA, right? Uh, in those instances, it's 50% DTI. But for cash offer specifically, it's 48%. So cash offer is a, they would be getting a conventional property loan. So they can't, I can't come in and go try to get an FHA product and utilize the cash offer. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 If the client does have the 3% down and the 680 or above credit score, we can use them as a first time home buyer with the, the conventional route to the cash off. Well, 680, my, I imagine 680, you're not going to get any FHA people you know. Because if a person has 680 credit score, they can go for this one. Um, VA. Great question. So we work with VA. But we can't do a cash offer with the VA. Right. Um, and then just a quick little fun side note: our uh, one of our owners and our CEO, uh, he was a naval fighter pilot for ten years. Yeah. Right. So he's the whole reason this thing started because he was moving between house to house and knew that mortgages were the pain in the butt. Mm -hmm. 
So he's a veteran himself. Uh, we've been trying really hard to get some VA stuff figured out, but because of the and or signs on the fire line of equity is not a veteran. Gotcha. So, so, the other CEOs. so it wouldn't work with any government, man. Like even the hood. Uh, I mean, the uh, still one, the USDA. Yeah. yeah, not for the cash offer, but um, something that is important to know is that we can still do an FHA less the cash offer. We can do a VA less the cash offer. We can do those independent, just like any other normal yeah. person would. But we want to focus on the differentiated products because yeah. I know that you all have your go to vendors for all of it. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, with that being said, um, I, I would just like to ask, like, how many clients do we as agents think that we can partner with for either the trade up or the cash offer program? Um, uh, <laughs> what, what kind of a uh, we're real big on, you know, like joint marketing, like working to build our businesses together, you know, using you all's tool as a way to expose our audiences and our networks as a way to pull clients. Yeah. Do you all have any like specific programs I have laid out to where y'all like co brand or co market with agents and things like that? So, transparently, right? We, you're not like, like splitting marketing costs, right? But with like the flyers that you see in front of you, mm -hmm. um, what we can do is arm your agents to have this branded, uh, uh, these branded pieces of information mm -hmm. to then go and use that as a way to get clients, right? Okay. So, you know, this says, all of it just because like has my information, but your agents can go online, they can submit a request and agree to that joint marketing uh, agreement. And then from there has their picture, all their contact information. So in their buyer's presentation or the listing presentation, they're showing themselves and yeah. it just says powered by that. Right? All right. So for them to do that, they have to go on the website and register. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Is, is there a registration process? Is there a registration required to access the program? For my client, like my client wanted to use it, I don't have to be a registered agent to help it. Okay. Yeah, there, there's no like a factory certification. Yeah, that that has to, yeah. No. Like I said, right? We just we, we want to we want to help add value to your clients, and we don't care about creating some extra like loop that you have to go through. Right. We just want to make sure you all have the necessary pieces of information yeah. to educate your clients. Yeah. yeah. No, I think it's a phenomenal resource and tool that I know my agents should be using. I'm going to be in encouraging them to use it as a way to train business and differentiate themselves uh, in the marketplace. Yeah. yeah. Are you here locally or you came here from Austin? Yeah, I just, I just drove in from Austin. Austin. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, I, I have this really awesome partnership with Realm Real Estate and one of the agents met Laverne and then Laverne, uh, Laverne and I had a conversation. She was like, Nick, I, I'm busy, so <laughs> you're gonna have to catch me at a lunch and learn. I was like, okay, what do I have to do? She's like, reach out to Shay. Yeah, Shay will set you up. I was like, all right, yeah. cool. Yeah, because actually, um, you know, I'm always networking. So one of the agents had invited me to round. Yeah. And I wasn't able to make it. But there, you know, yeah. people already know. So they told me about it. And so Nick and I could talk about three or four months, maybe. And I'm, like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, Nick, you just need to come present it to everybody else. Yeah. I'm like, I, I, there are other agents that really could use this because you know, we were talking like, yeah. So thank you again for coming. No, absolutely. And I definitely want to invite you out to be a participant with our real estate summit that we're doing on October 8th. So I don't know what your calendar is for that Saturday. Okay. Uh, this one at yeah, the Church of Buckles family. This is our third time doing the summit. Last year, we had over 200 people that came and what we use it as a platform to really expose these, I would call non-traditional methods. A lot of people feel like when they approach buying a home that it has to fit within these particular parameters, yeah. but there's all the, this plethora of options that are yeah. out here. Yeah. So we would love for you to be a part uh, of that and then come in and get a vendor table uh, so we can expose you to those individuals and, and expose what the equity is for. Um, I was talking to one of our signature partners at U.S. Bank, mm -hmm. and uh, one of the things that they found value in, and I don't know if it's the same for you, of equity, when a real estate relationship can expose you to directly to the consumer mm -hmm. versus, you know, expose you to agents and then relying on the agent to expose you. Like this event, it will expose you directly to the consumer. Can I say something on something? Which is why I was trying to get this other company. But if you come out, Nick, 
that, I mean, that makes sense because I can tell my clients all day long about all these different products. Mm -hmm. But if I have the company themselves, they're explaining it, it just kind of adds value yeah. on top of the thing we're trying to get them to do. So, no, we take them tools all day long. Yeah, 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 hundred percent. And you know, what you said, right? It's like, hey, if you can get, if you can go from business to business to consumer to business to consumer, right? Yeah. And straight to the person who yeah. would benefit from it. Yeah, that's a lot of value. Yeah. Yes. 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 Now, is it a way for you to email these? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And do we get the presentation as well? Oh, that's all about that. Yeah, she did. I mean, she did a recording. She did a Yeah, she got points. Yeah, she got points, Shay. Oh, but you said you could email the doctor? Yes. And um, what I'll do following this um, is I will get with Shay to just get everyone's emails. Um, and then, uh, yeah, that plus uh, another the person. Then, too. And then, um, I'll send a follow-up email that has everything linked so by additional resources and whatnot. Beautiful. Really yeah. All right. Any other questions for Nick before we go enjoy our Chick-fil-A? I don't want to come. We don't eat it. Thanks. All right, well, thank you all for joining. Yeah, yeah, online. <laughs> <laughs> hey.